Oh yeah, it is that time of year again. Yeah. to do some Christmas shopping and Christmas decoration shopping. So in honor of what this video is about, I wore a Christmas three, three themed, themed, Dana, themed t-shirt and my Christmas Disney magic band. Yes, this is the old version magic bands. I actually kind of like them better. But anyway, so Walmart and Cracker Barrel haul today. Two different trips. Um, first trip was actually in October. They were putting the Christmas stuff out that day. So this was like me getting first dibs on what they were putting out. Um, and I'm going to start with the big and item. And here is the big item. This house believes. So I've actually got this to put on the outside of the house. It will actually match our house very well. And this wasn't bad. This was $17.84. All right. <laughs> I know gnomes are really big this year, but I was already a gnome person. I already collected gnomes before this gnome craze this year. Um, but I am happy that there are new types of gnomes coming out. And this little gnome on the skis is adorable. It's an ornament, but I'm actually not going to use it as an ornament. $1.98. Two bucks for this adorable gnome that I'm going to decorate elsewhere in the house with. Probably with some of my Ray Dunn items. You guys know that I am a um, newbie when it comes to Ray Dunn, but I am like obsessed with her things now. I have a playlist of videos of hauls. Uh, when you see, like when this first comes out, there's not a many on there, but I have about six hauls waiting in the other room for me to film. So just depending on when you see this, um, more of those will be up. So for little projects that I'm working on, these turned around, so I'm trying to, um, oh, wait a minute. No, they are wood. Um, I got these that also $1.98 and more. There are so many awesome things that I can do with these. And one more. <laughs> Gnomes. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with these. I kick myself for not getting more now. I also, this is actually a present for someone. So this ornament, I think all their basic, most of their ornaments are $198. Yeah, $198. So this is actually for a gift. But, um, oh my gosh, it has like a, um, almost a velvet. You can almost see, can you see that? Yeah, you can actually see the way I move it. A velvet um, feel and look to it. Very woodsy, natural ornament. Now, actually, the second haul that I'm going to show you from Walmart, I actually did not see any more of these. Um, so, I don't know if they sold out. Hopefully, they'll restock. We'll see. Oh, and the precious, I love vintage Christmas deer. And luckily, that has been big the last couple of years also. But I wanted to add a new one to my collection. A lot of them you see very pastel colors. So I was happy to get this more natural deer. Okay, so I don't even know where I saw these. Somewhere, maybe on the end cap. I don't know. Maybe a clip. Um, but, oh my gosh, I got this actually as a stocking stuffer for one of my daughters. It is actually hand sanitizer. They're sanitizing wipes, actually. And they had, I think there was a unicorn. I can't remember what else, but the little poo emoji was perfect for my teenage daughter. And I'm pretty sure it was only a dollar. And 
yes, I am the type of person that gives soap as a Christmas present. So my other daughter, her dog looks very similar to this one. So I just picked it up as I added it, probably a stocking stuffer, um, just because of the little dog and a little Santa hat being Christmas themed. I don't even know what it smells like. Oh, what does it say? Uh, does that say fetch, fetching frost? Seriously is the name of this. I didn't even smell it before I bought it, but let's smell it. Let's see. Let's, Let's try and open it. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. L Comment below right now what you think fetching frost soap smells like. Quick, do it. Right, pause the video. Comment below. Don't no no cheating. Don't wait till I say what it smells like. It's peppermint. <laughs> yeah, totally pe peppermint with. It's a very faint, faint. It's not a strong peppermint, which is nice. But yes. Fetching frost smells like peppermint. Now, what did I get from Cracker Barrel? Just one item. Again, they didn't have a lot of Christmas stuff out, but for $4.99, I got a wood gnome. <laughs> um, just, I'm really into the checkered, the black and white this year. And um, so when I saw him, I'm like, oh, he's absolutely perfect. So that was my Cracker Barrel find. I actually really do not shop at Walmart a lot. I'm more of a Target gal, but I had to go to Walmart to pick up my daughter's prescription so I could get it in the mail for her. Um, most of her prescriptions go to our, our local grocery store pharmacy because we earn fuel points. But this one was an older one. Um, she was diagnosed with thyroid disease when she was 12, I believe. Um, so you got to keep up with that thyroid medicine. So I need to mail it to her away from, and she's away at school. So I had to go to Walmart for that. That's basically the only reason I ever go to Walmart is when I have to pick up her thyroid medicine. Um, but I did get a really big bag full of stuff. This year, I think I'm going to be using, um, this ribbon on our Christmas tree. And it is this part right here, the red the stitching and stuff will go perfect with the theme of the tree this year. And this was $7.98. I could not pass up the gnome bird. <laughs> um, for years, Walmart, Target, lots of different places have had like bird fabric, bird um, decor. Uh, this was $4.98. But the fact that they made him look like a gnome this year just totally won me over. And just five dollars, a little chick nose, five dollars. Look at that little um, snowflake there. Yeah, it just, it re I really, really like this one. For all you Ray Dunn lovers, um, you already know that there's a lot of what I call Ray Dunn copycats. A lot of products coming out now with basically that type of font. Um, and this is one of them. This is, um, unfortunately, I cannot see who it is by, but it was $4.98. I got the last one. Um, so they look like Ray Dunn. It's going to be perfect on my tree this year. I would have gotten more if they had any more. Um, I guess I'm just lucky that I got this one. And for $5 for three ornaments, and they're like, they're ceramic, um, and they actually indent. So um, a lot of like Ray Dunn pottery um, is actually, it's not like it's on the surface. The lettering's not on the surface. It's actually like indented in to the pottery. And a lot of copycat stuff it is not like that, but this is actually indented into the and ceramic. Something also. totally not Christmas oriented, but I'm gonna show you anyway. I'm a huge book person. And I love like Expedition Unknown with Josh Gates. Comment below if you watch Josh Gates, any of his shows. Um, or like Expedition Unknown. Anyway, I think he's so funny. He's so entertaining and I love the traveling and the expedition that he does. That's why I watch. But anyway, so starting with the virus, he couldn't go out and film. So they did like a Josh Gates live from home, like a studio thing. They're still kind of doing that. I um, mean, and, and they would have like, he would always have celebrities via like video chat on the show also. And just this week, he had Matthew McConaughey, oh yeah, um, was on there. And he was talking about this new book, his book. 
and I was like, um, well, okay, that's kind of interesting. I don't, I, sometimes I'll get biographies, but, oh, cool. I just realized the back. I always take the jacket covers off books, by the way, guys, because you never know um, what the actual cover, sometimes they have stuff hidden with like this. This almost feels like leather, by the way. Um, so that got my attention right away was the uniqueness of the book cover. And then I opened it up and it's almost like a diary in a way. It's not written like a diary, but I say that because there's pictures. Look at that. It's actually on the inside pages, like the, the cover pages, not like in the middle glossy magazine ones like you normally get. And it's just so very unique. Oh my gosh. I love the way this book smells. It's very unique um how it is written and laid out there's also there's some scripts in here um somewhere i saw I flipping through lots of different pictures let me just kind of show you how just a lot of pictures graphics i just it's a very it's going to be a very easy read because it is kind of laid out like a diary or scrapbook type book um so yeah i i was like oh, I'm getting that. This is a book that I could read in one day if I had an entire day to read, but it's not going to take me many nights to read this. And I just finished another book um, last night at like two o'clock in the morning. And um, so I can go ahead and add this to my current read list because I do read about three or four books at a time. So I can go ahead since I finished one and start another one. I'm going one. to add this in. Tom went out of town this weekend and came back with these two mats. So this is just an accent rug indoors. Um, this is the, you know, outdoor, you know, by your door, the real hard bristly thing. I have so many TJ Maxx Marshall Home Good videos coming your way. So if you like shopping haul, hauls, I hope you um, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button. And of course, I always put up our Disney and Universal trips. Um, I'm working on those right now from our August 2020 trip. And then there will be an October 2020 trip going up also. Guys, I hope you are having a wonderful fall. And I will see you in the park. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I've been all around the world.